Well, I am done racing for the night, uh, watching the Home Run Derby here on uh, TV. You got to watch the horses from Mohawk Race also. My horse, the horse I drove here, Libero Hanover. Libero Hanover raced really well. Uh, that's about what he can do. 57 flat, thought he raced well. You could tell he just got the life sucked out of him. That's a real, real nice colt of Jim Campbell's at one. Um, it was funny. I, I couldn't, that name stuck with me, Polly Walnuts. That the, the favorite, I believe, or second favorite, favorite, I think, going to the gate. And I couldn't think of why it came to me after. Polly Walnuts, I was looking back. Somebody somebody actually mentioned it to me. And I look back in my videos. He was he was uh, one of my top picks last year was Polly Walnuts. He was an Andover Hall. I loved him. I was the underbidder on him at the sale. Um, but that's the way it goes. I, mean, I was underbidder on a lot of horses at the sale. So uh, it was kind of neat. He made a break halfway down the lane. They left him up. Uh, I... Uh, watching the video, I wasn't lapped on him, so but um, he run for quit eh, quite a while. Ooh, he raced good, but uh, Libero Hanover raced well. I think we'll drop him into the Stallion Series on the 15th. For those of you who don't know yet, I'm going to take uh, Sebastian Yu and also uh, Willpower Fashion to the Stallion Series. Those horses just qualified. Now, you look at a horse like Polly Walnuts, tonight was his third or fourth start. Sebastian Yu, I believe. Uh, speed wise, probably our best colt remaining. I think after tonight, I think I think he he's got a little more pop to him, maybe than Libero, but maybe just enough to follow in the top class, the the, the Pennsylvania sires. So we're gonna dump all those horses into the Stallion series. We're trying to, you know, we don't want to get their neck stretched every week. I think that uh, Libero Hanover is gonna be an extremely effective horse in a lot of the races we have him in uh, throughout the rest of the year. And also, uh, Will Power Fashion showed me a lot the other day. Sebastian Yu, once he gets his head on straight, who knows? This could be any kind of horse. Uh, but we will start him in the Stallion Series on the 15th of July. That's next Monday um, for those of you who don't race everywhere all over the world every single day. <laughs> uh, next Monday is uh, a week from today is uh, Stallion Series for our two-year-old trotting colts in Pennsylvania. Now, uh, I watched the, the Gold Series. They were flying, weren't they? Uh, somebody said, what happened to Miss Brampton Beast? It was her first lifetime start. She pays 54 last quarter and 27 and 1. Uh, I don't think anything happened to her. I just don't think that she's she's a bigger filly. Um, and I think she's going to need a few starts to pace 52. You look at a horse like uh, Need Your Opinion, who raced absolutely incredible. Smaller, compact filly, doesn't wear a boot. She's already built uh, physically for what she needs to do right now. Miss Brampton Beast is bigger, ganglier filly. Going to have to pack some more muscle on that frame to do what she needs to do. Maybe she won't. Maybe she will. Um, I thought she raced okay tonight. Looking at the starters, it wouldn't bother me in the least if we raced her once in the grassroots or a couple of times. But uh, I'll talk to Mario and our clients about that. Um, certainly don't want to get this filly's next stretch. She's a nice filly. We know what she can do. We know what she's capable of. If she needs a few starts to do what we've seen her do all year training, then let's give them to her. So she's going to be racing on a pretty seven day, it's pretty strict seven day schedule, I think. And wherever we decide to race her next start, will be fine with me, gold or grassroots. A horse that I don't think will be dropping out of the golds will be Need Your Opinion. How good was she tonight? Here's a filly that qualified three weeks ago and then raced last week. And somebody said, well, she raced. No, no, she didn't. She broke a hobble at the three eighths pole. She raced for three eighths of a mile and then uh, missed another week and raced in the gold, um, not ideal in the least. And uh, Need Your Opinion was just about as impressive as you could possibly be tonight. Uh, wow, really, really good finish closing at the wire. Uh, Trafalgar raced good, looked a little pinchy left hind to me. Um, very treated, I don't think there's anything serious. But, oh, excuse me, no idea why I'd be tired. <laughs> um, Trafalgar looked great tonight, though. First over is not her cup of tea. On the front is not her cup of tea. When you watch her shake loose late last week and flying on the end of it and how impressive she was, that's kind of her trip. And uh, I think she'll race on the front. I think she'll race however you race her. But last week was her trip. And no disrespect to, to Louis Philippe. I think he drove her as good as he could. Um, you know, Jody would not commit first over with his horse and then ends up on his back. Like, that's, that's bad luck. Um... And then Paul McDonnell's horse completely walked in the last turn and shoved James three wide way, way early with um, 
<clears throat> with the other filly, Wiggle Delight. Just never had a chance to race. Um, got used up in the last turn, three deep in that last turn at Mohawk. For some reason, it's not like it used to be. You know, it used to be that Mohawk was the big sweeping turns and you could make up ground. It almost seems like Mohawk's a lot like Woodbine now. You can't move three deep in Mohawk anymore in the last turn. You used to be able to carry your speed in the far turn. I don't know whether they took the grade out of it or maybe it's just me. Um, but it doesn't seem that um, that you can that you can race at Mohawk the way you used to be able to race at Mohawk. And then obviously cruising in style. I think that's his last start in Canada. He's going to head to the states. Um, I had said the other day that I, I was I was interested in sending him to Illinois. Um, I do want to talk to the ownership group, and it'll either be likely Yonkers or Illinois or maybe Ohio. But um, I think you know. Trotting in 53 at Mohawk and 54 is not going to help him right now. Well, I'd like to know if he can do it, Yonkers. It would be nice if he could race for some big money for a little while. Um, and then if things fall apart, we can always ship him to Ohio or out to Illinois to freshen up. You know, everybody thinks, well, they get tired and you got to turn them out of the field. Not always the case. Um, you know, a couple of good wins will freshen anybody up. And I think, um, you know, Yonkers will chew you up right now in the Meadowlands for sure. But a couple of starts, you know, maybe five, six, seven starts there and then ship them out to, out to Illinois where you maybe get a couple of easy wins maybe would be um, a great thing to look at for uh, cruising in style. But um, James Drone fine, got away close, just kind of, he just wasn't awesome tonight. He was just okay. And uh, I think he needs to go to, to Yonkers and, and get into a, a regular um, regiment of racing there. So uh, he'll be heading to the U.S. right away. Bye, good day. Mm. Oh, he'll be heading to the U.S. right away. Tomorrow, uh, I have a big day. We get six horses. I'm driving Stonebridge Simba, a long shot out of the nine hole in race 12. But we get five fillies in the Pennsylvania All-Stars. Knockdown drag, it looks like she's got a really good shot in there. Uh, I'll tell you a horse that might be sneaky good tomorrow is um, Rosier and Versatile. She looks like she's got a shot in that class. A couple of tough ones in there. Uh, who else do we got? Path of Totality caught some tough ones. So did Miss Mischief Maker. Who's the fifth one? Harness AM might be our best shot tomorrow. Outside of Knockdown Drag Out, I think. Harness AM's got a good shot tomorrow. So a lot going on tomorrow for me, especially for, for the stable also. But for me here in the Poconos, Wednesday I'm off to... Um, uh, Mark's going to go to... Uh, Mark is going to drive a horse in New York in Buffalo. And I'm going to go to Ohio. James got some stuff going on Wednesday and he can't make it, so uh, I'm going to head over to Ohio on Wednesday. Anyway, uh, about as good as we could do tonight. Um, I thought we were going to be fourth place third, but after review of the replay, fourth is fourth. And Libero Hanover race great. He'll race a week from now in uh, the Meadows. So um, this week for me, <laughs> Pennsylvania still tomorrow, Poconos tomorrow with our Phillies. Wednesday, uh, Grassroots or Buckeye Trotting Colts in Ohio. Thursday, I'm driving Fox Valley Shazam. And Arvika both drew nine uh, at Mohawk. And then Friday we've uh, Dio, um, Spirit of Dio at the Meadowlands in the, in the final for the New Jersey Sire Stakes. And then we have Saturday, I might just go to Quarth. I think I'm going to drive Tiamo Hanover and Just a Tad. I like driving Just a Tad, and I need to drive Just a Tad. Tiamo Hanover's first start, good spot for him too. And maybe Utopian will make his first lifetime start also. So three horses at Quarth. I think I might take Sunday off if you guys don't mind. <laughs> and then Monday I'll be in the Meadows. So that's it for tonight. Uh, good night. A good night. Um, could be always be better. We didn't win any races, but we had a pretty good night. Need your opinion. Show, strutted her stuff for those of you who thought maybe she wasn't quite good enough for the golds. Told you so. <laughs> and uh, uh, Trafalgar, not a great trip for her. Wiggled the light, a horrendous trip, three deep in the last turn. And Miss Brampton Beast, a little bit of a question mark there. Is she going to go to the grassroots of the gold? This is still a good filly, and we just need to let her mature at her rate. A little bit more taller and ganglier than those other fillies. Um, does that mean she needs a couple more starts? Does that mean she needs a little drop in class? Uh, I'll talk to Mario about that. I, I don't really uh, think I have an opinion about it tonight. But uh, race good, 54, last quarter, 27 seconds. Pretty hard not to like that. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully we have some great news tomorrow. A lot going on tomorrow with our five fillies and then obviously Stonebridge Simba also. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.